Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you would like to help grow this channel, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links are in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is bending and deflection of beams. Question 5.2. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your answer and method might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes Persistence, discipline and repetition. You must use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Okay, our question states. A cantilever with a length of 8 meters creates a point load, carries a point load of 15 kilonewtons, 4 meters from the fixed end and has a uniformly distributed load of 10 kilonewtons including its weight over the full length. The dimensions of the rectangular beam are 200 by 500 millimeters. E is equal to 200 gigapascals. The first part of the question, calculate the maximum and minimum stresses in the cantilever. And two is to draw this, a stress distribution diagram for the stress. Okay, first things first. Let's draw our cantilever. Our cantilever looks something like this. This is the ca a cantilever is always fixed at one end. So there's the wall. So here's our cantilever and this is our UDL. Our UDL is over the full length and then halfway across it, then halfway across it, is a point load of 15 kilonewtons. Now we know the weight of the beam is 10 kilonewton meters. So, first things first, we need to calculate M. M is equal to WL plus WL squared all over, all over 2. This is for the point load, this is the formula for the point load, point load, and this is the formula for the UDL. So we've got to add them together. So we have 15 kilonewtons, 15 times 10 to the 3 times L, which is 4, because from there to there is 4 meters. And from there to there is 4 meters. Now we have plus our 10 times 10 to the 3 times 8 squared all over 2. Now this will equal 380 kilonewton meters. So, next step. We need to keep this because our stress, our bending stress is equal to my over i.
I is our area of our beam. So our beam, I'm just going to draw it here. Our beam has a rectangular cross section. It has a rectangular cross section that looks something like this. So because of that, we have 0, 0,2 from there to there, 0, 0,5. That's our cross section. So, Y, now Y is actually the Y axis. This is y axis, this is y, and that's x. So our y axis, y in this case in the formula, is equal to y over 2, which is directly in half. So our formula will be 380 times 10 to the 3 times 0, 0.25 times 12 all over 0, 0.2 times 0, 0.5 to the power 3. Now the 12 comes in because that is the formula for I. I is on the bottom. It would normally be length times breadth over 12. Length over breadth, length is to the power 3 in this particular case. So, this comes out to, so this equals I by the way. So, what we have here is 45,6 mega pascals. That is our stress in the beam. There's only two stresses. There's a minimum stress and a maximum stress. This is the maximum stress. Now, it's the stress is the exact same going both ways because it is a rectangular cross section. So now they want us to draw the stress diagram. The stress diagram is fairly simple. All you have to do is to draw a rectangular cross section. Draw the rectangular cross section. Get that all nicely done. Now this is 200 and that is 500. Now we're going to draw dotted lines. Okay. Now next step is Right in the middle, right in the middle, there is a line going across. This is your x, x axis. Now what you're going to do is measure on your ruler 4.56 centimeters because that is your scale. So we're going to measure that. So now first things first, we're going to draw a line going through the middle. And then we are going to measure from there all the way to there. And keep the distance, this equilateral, as possible. And draw from there to there. Now, 
This is positive 45,6 megapascals and this is negative 45,6 megapascals. And that is how you draw your stress diagram. Very quick, very simple and to the point. Sometimes, depending on your shape, of your beam. These two numbers will be different but because it's rectangular and one side reflects the other they will be exactly the same. So if this was an I-beam this would be different to this. This is your stress diagram. We've just drawn it and this is each one is the mirror opposite of the other because both sides are exactly equal. If this was an H section or an I section or a channel or something like that, it would be completely different. Each value would be different. But in this case, because it's a rectangle and it's solid, it is both exactly the same. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like and subscribe. It helps to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like more videos like this, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.